new into stock we've got a an awesome machine here um, a car really I didn't know existed till about four days ago um, till we got the chance to buy it it's an Audi Q7 6 litre V12 Tiptronic it's the Quattro 2010 on a template has done 61,458 miles two owners six main dealer service stamps as well and uh, quite a bit of money spent on it main, maintaining it making sure it's uh, tip-top condition it's a beautiful car it's even got ceramic brakes now not that you're going to be too worried about the fuel consumption if you're going to buy this but t to be fair it's it's pretty good i would say um urban 19.1 extra urban 30.3 and combined is 25 not 60 time of 5.5 seconds top speed of 155 miles per hour which i'm pretty sure is electronically limited it's a 493 brake horsepower engine 48 valves and it's absolutely awesome it's it's quite strange when a v12 starts up um things like v8s real kind of throaty sound when you start this up it sounds like a drill it, it's that smooth it sounds like an electric, electric motor starting up it really is an awesome uh, an awesome thing i'm looking forward to driving it to to be honest road tax six months 313 pounds 50 and 12 months is 570 pounds i'll just show you around it it's uh xenon headlamps high pressure headlamp wash daytime running lights the big imposing audi front grille there with the uh, all important quattro badge there and even more important badges on the side here v12 it's a beautiful thing honestly it's um well i'll, I'll tell you when i take you for driving it but it's the five triple spoke alloys and it's uh, just the tires on it continentals so really good tires all round the kind of aluminium effect door mirrors although that's that's painted and the brushed aluminium window surrounds and also the brushed aluminium roof bar carrier system it has the panoramic roof as well which is a fantastic feature the bottom of the door and the sill protectors there remote boot opening now probably doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room in there but that's because it's a seven seater and those back seats also fold uh, pretty flat as well here we've got the blind system in the back there you go that folds up and it's got the removable tow bar movable tow bars uh, just in the back here along with a key it's uh, as i say it's beautiful condition it's got a reversing camera and it's also got rear parking sensors and then this uh, aluminium panel which comes off so as you can put the rear so as you can put the tow bar in it shuts itself as well <laughs> i'm not sure whether i'll be able to get in the back here but i will try crikey I've got my foot stuck in the rail. <laughs> there we go. So that actually, it's a little bit tight on headroom, but I've got enough leg room. Um, to be fair, it's quite comfortable. It's, if you can see here, I've, I've got my own sunroof in the back here, which is uh, brilliant as well. Lights. That looks a, a little bit dangerous to leave in. I'll uh, take that out before before I knock my eye out getting out. So this, there's enough room really in the back for uh, a lengthy journey, I suppose. I'm not sure how it is easy getting out. Well, not as bad as I expected, to be honest. There we go, into the back here. Now in the back, this seat will also recline. If I can just, uh, there you go. So that, that would be kind of the normal position. Or you can 
recline this a little bit. And we've also got blinds in the back here, which is handy because there's rear entertainment here as well. So that, that keeps the glare off the rear screen. Uh, you can play DVDs from the front there and just control it in these headrests. Again, we've got our um, glass. Let's just have a look here. Ignition probably has to be on. Let's just do it. Listen, that engine. <laughs> Let's just see. There we go. Took a bit of figuring out, but total shade band for the panoramic roof. Pull it back. Seats are like brand new. This car's beautiful. It's got really, really thick, heavy duty rubber mats in the back as well. So the carpet will be like new. Got heated seats in the back here, and also um, sockets for auxiliary in and your headphones. Uh, charger on each side. Let's just see. Oh crikey! Even the back panel even opens. So which? There you go. That's a, that's amazing, really. Right. Now for the good bit. I'll just take you for riding it. Proper key, proper blade, proper ignition lock. Uh, I'll just actually put this window down a little bit. You, you don't, you don't get the grunt of a, a V8, but the noise—it's uh, kind of surreal when this starts up. It, as I said before, it's just like an electric drill. It's just. Zzz. brilliant piece of engineering fantastic engine um, great service history as well this car has uh, here we go first service 17th of August 2011 20,000 and 28 miles Highland Audi Inverness just the ideal uh, vehicle if you're living up there near uh, Loch Ness the second service 14th of September 2012 at 39,636 miles again Highland Audi Inverness. Third service, 20th of December 2014 at 56,054 at Bath Audi Business Park. I think that's when it changed owners because um, the, uh, the, the last owner, I believe, uh, spent quite a lot of his time abroad and, or, or certainly didn't uh, do many miles in this car. So what's that, the fourth service, 19th of December, 2015, 58,878, so 2,800 miles. Uh, that was Bath Audi, again, the fifth service, 3rd of March, 2017, at 60,088 miles, Bath Audi. Um, sixth service, 25th of the 1st, 2019, so not that long being done at 61,100. Has only done 61,564 now, so 464 miles. And that was done at Bath Audi as well. Um, it's had uh, front calipers, and uh, I think those were replaced under uh, warranty for some reason. So, and it, it's got ceramic discs, which, scrub the speed off incredibly it, it's quite a strange feeling when you're used to normal discs and you, you press your foot on the brake and it's got ceramic discs um, it's uh, they, they are tremendous uh, one more thing which we always do now and uh, I'll just show you here take my glasses off because they're polarised and it stops us, uh, us from viewing the screen there we go, Audi Q7 V12 TDI SY10. We check them on V-Check. They check the salvage options as well. There's a loophole in the law which allows some cars to be uh, write-offs and get sold to uh, 
Well, I, I, I'd say the, the unscrupulous dealers, anybody who buys a write-off because it's not on the register and then sells it knowing full well it's not on the register, uh, although it's had a massive impact, um, should be put in jail. There you go, salvage history, it's a pass. And it's, uh, it's, it's not been the best taxi in the world either. So there, there you go. OK, I'll just take you for a ride in it. And I am, I've not driven any distance in it, so I am looking forward to it. It's a, it's a beautiful car. We have the usual Audi controls here for the sat-nav. It's uh, Bluetooth hands-free. We've also got electric seats, which I'll just put back and down a bit. Although I've just set my camera for this position, so I've probably cocked it up now. And we've got, there we go, power glove box, which everybody needs. Oh, there's, a, there's a taxi behind me. I'm just going to pull over and let the taxi go by because I just want to set off. And uh, there's, there's some cars, especially big cars like this, and it, they remind me, every time I jump in them, they remind me of going on holiday. You sat on the plane, trundle up the runway, get to a certain point, Pilot feels like he's got his handbrake on. Gives it, guns the engine. And then you're away, down the runway. And it, it's, I don't know, it's the width of the tires, the, the weight of the car, but uh, it makes me smile every time I set off. And this, this car just feels like absolute brand new. It's got the beautiful, pan roof, virtually full length pan roof, even the people in the six and seven seat have got their own sunroof. It's just height and reach adjustable steering wheel as you'd expect, paddle shift, got cruise control. What's it got? Um... Oh yes, we've got power folding door mirrors as well. Just uh... now. We'll... Got the removable tow bar. I forgot to show it. I'll give it some gas here. That's fast enough. There you go. <laughs> a big, a big item like this. And uh, 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. Carbon fibre insets to the dash all around the, the the gear selector and the switches and uh, also on the doors here, aluminium uh, handles, trim around the vents, matching around the steering wheel. It's just a beautiful car, it really is. Uh, electric front and uh, front driver's side and passenger side seats and you've got these, if, that's, I can't remember how it pulls up, but two cup holders there, two massive cup holders or flask holders just in the door pocket. And we'll give it some. You've just been pushed back in your seat. It's so good. I mean, it's just these electric cars coming out now, and it's just one motor that, that goes. In order to get this Audi or propel it to 60 miles an hour in five and a half seconds, you've got 12 cylinders, 12 pistons, 48 valves, four cams, all working in perfect harmony. All that is working to absolute perfection to drive you forward. Electric, electric cars, 
I, I don't understand how they can be so expensive. I know the batteries are expensive, but the the actual engineering, it's it has to be all circuitry. It's not machined to perfection. <laughs> and well, this uh, this vehicle, it's. It, kind of it leaves me speechless which you're probably thinking is a good thing but anyway let's just try all the electrics so because of course not only is this a, a test drive for you this is just as it's come in and um, the only thing well it doesn't the, the wheels aren't too bad really but we're having the we, we have a really really good um, wheel refurbisher alloy wheel refurbisher so we're going to get the alloys done and it'll be absolutely perfect then if you've got a private plate as well a, a, a 10 plate this is if you've got a private plate i mean i th this would just be um my choice of second vehicle it'd be my choice of first vehicle really um but it's it's just beautiful as, as a second car certainly as a winter car and, and for you know if you have to like pull tree stumps out of your stately home garden or something it, this is the this is the thing it's awesome got the motor i'll try the cruise control must try and look how much this thing costs new but even you know the removable tow bar that must be a like 16 1700 quid option um, the removable tow bar I would think will be a grand you've got both speakers as well and it, the sound systems fantastic We've also got TV in here. We've got rear entertainment, so there's a TV screens or DVD screens in each of these the drivers and passenger seats uh, headrests. Right, so that's switched on. Um, just going, just a couple of miles too fast there. That's 69 miles per hour. Just knock it up again. 70 miles an hour let's make sure we're in oh, damn we've put it in manual now so that's in drive that's doing 1800 revs 70 miles an hour effortless quiet, smooth and uh, one of the things I don't like on a lot of Q7s although the, the really big wheels look great if you have the big wheels on then the, the, tent, the vehicle tends to tram line now this doesn't feel like I'm, I've not even checked what size the tyres are the wheels but this doesn't seem to do that so uh, it's just a nice, it's just a lovely drive. And um, many, many years ago, I, uh, I sold a BMW limousine and the chap wanted the bigger wheels on. And uh, I promised him, well, I didn't promise him, but I, I said, yes, we'd do it. Never thinking for one second when I rang BMW up, they said, no, um, this, the, too much tire noise, the, the limo is for, uh, quiet and stately journeys not tire noise so no we, we refused to fit them so I rang the guy up and he said no worries I'll buy a Mercedes to, to which I replied well hang on a second so we ended up fitting in the, the big wheels but I, again I can understand why in this you wouldn't have the massive wheels on because it's just so lovely why, why spoil the ride you can't see the wheels when you're inside anyway 
and when you're doing 70, 80 miles an hour, nobody else can see them either. So we've got a rev counter on the left hand side, information display in the center, speedo on the right in the information display in the center. You've got a digital speedo, you've got your fuel gauge on the right and uh, coolant temperature gauge on the on the far left. I'm trying to remember to show you the TV, no doubt. We'll have to, um, lights have changed now. But fortunately all these ignorant people who've come through the lights before when there was nowhere for them to go have, uh, oh dear me, what a mess. Anyway, gives us time for the TV. So there we go, deja vu. American pickers on the TV here. Let me see if I take my foot off the brake. Oh, it'll probably go off when we set off. So I'll show you that. Uh, CD radio, um, heated seats. We've got heated seats in the back too. Let's just see which one is the. No. I don't know what that do. Something in summer. Oh, of course, stupid boy. There you go. So that's the sunroof, the control here. Oh, I don't know where he's going. Seems to want uh, several lanes to himself. go it's down here we go some gas Put the nav back on there nice front central armrest just a very, very nice place to be in here. Not that you can see a whole lot under the bonnet these days, but because um, instead of being able to gaze lovingly at a V12 engine, of course, there's just a big plastic cover over the top. But. Uh, from what I could see, there didn't look to be much room under the bonnet. So we've got Xenon's high pressure headlamp wash. Good brakes. Of course, ceramics. In fact, I'll, I'll just try the ceramics coming up here. And we'll just load the steering up. Make sure everything's all right on the suspension, which I'm sure it is. Look at that, that's beautiful. The ceramic brakes. Absolutely fabulous. Stops in a straight line. No wobbles. You can hear all my camera equipment flying forward in the back there. Oops, won't pull out just yet. Turning, so we'll go. I'll show you how to pay your mobile, delete a mobile, set the sat nav. fiddling. 50 miles an hour. 
just lovely. It's uh, another one of John's acquisitions. He couldn't resist it. Oh, so it, as, as well, we've got the blinds in the back there. But I, I'll, I'll finish the test drive here. Um, promise you, you would not be disappointed. Air conditioning is nice and cool. Everything working great. No causes for concern anywhere. Nothing to report to the garage when we get back. So I'll just pull over here. Here we go.